Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, August 18th. It's right around, uh, I don't know, 9.52, almost 10 o'clock. As you know, we like to look 10 days prior to. So when we're doing our investing, we like to look at stocks that are going EX or going to be paying out their dividend or getting ready for their dividend, the EX dividend date. Let's just put it, call it what it is, EX dividend date. Okay. 10 trading days from today, today's the 18th, would be the 1st, 1st of September. So let's go to the 1st of September. And that would be right here. And there are 14 companies going to be going EX dividend on the 1st of September. Some of them you may have heard of, some of you may not have heard of. But anyway, I took all these 14 stocks, threw them into the software, and I only came up with one that I wanted to look at. And that just so happened to be Nike. Everybody's heard of Nike. Okay, you put Nike up here into the top left where the stock symbol goes, you hit the go button, and then it populates. You have your 50, 75, and 100. Basically, that means the percentage of the dividend. Now, Nike has a very small dividend. It's nothing great, nothing to jump up and down about or anything like that. It's only 16 cents. However, if you look historically, it hits it the very first day. So to me, that's a no-brainer. However, there's a few more details we need to check out to check into before we jump on board. Number one being, you know, stock price, I like to stay below 100 bucks. Uh, the dividend has to be above 10 cents, which it is. And I would really like the yield to be above 2%. However, this is one of those rare instances where I'm going to bypass all that because of a few things. Number one, Nike is a huge, huge company. It's global. It's not just a U.S. company. It's all over the world. And look at the amount of shares on traded on a daily basis. 10 million. Okay, now if this thing hits on a consistent basis on the very first day, that's, to me, now this is just for me, that is a no-brainer. I want to get in, I want to get my profit, I want to get out. It's only 16 cents, so let's take a look. Okay, this is just one part of the software. I like all that stuff, it looks good. The second part of the software is right here. We want to put in Nike, NKE, plot the dividend. Now this is going to put one chart on top of another, give me a seasonality for the next 90 days. Okay, so this is 90 days. I'm going to click on the average. I, I want to see just the average. Okay, this chart shows you 100 days. Here's the, Here's the EX dividend date, okay? Anything to the left is days prior to the EX dividend date. Anything on the right side is after the EX dividend date. But let's take a look at Nike. The EX date is 10 days away. Okay, we get it at 10 days prior to at the opening price, which would be right here, 10 days average. And then what does it do? It goes up, drops a little bit, and then shoots back up for the, almost the whole rest of the 90 days. So that, I, I love that also. Over here in the bottom right, it shows you uh, the closing price, the 52-week high and low. Now, I don't like to be close to the low, and I don't like to be close to the high. Because if you're close to the high, it's like being on top of a ladder reaching for the stars. I don't want to do that. If you do closer to, to, the, to the low, it's like you're in the basement digging a hole. I don't want to be there either. So this, the numbers are great. I like where all the numbers are. So let's look at the chart. And the chart is going to bring up the right here. This is Yahoo Finance. This is going to give you 10 years worth of data. And this is what the stock has done for the last 10 years. Uh, 10 years ago, Nike was at, I don't know, around 10 bucks. Now it's around 50. To me, that's another no-brainer. Look at that. That's great. 10 years ago, it was down there. Look at even in 08. In 08, when everything else tanked, Nike really didn't go down that far. So that's good also. So let's go over to Thinkorswim and take a look at the chart. Let's put it in. 
Okay, uh, here's Nike into the regular chart. Let's open this up a little bit. And I don't know, how do I open that up more? I don't know. Anyway, let's leave it the way it is. This is just one year, you know. It's the high of the one year, it's up here. The low is way down here. And Nike, right now, is somewhere in between. Okay, the last 30 days, this is where it is. This is where she is today. Okay, she opened up at uh, 56.99. The high was 57.46. So you can basically see it, it did hit the uh, the target price because the, the dividend was only 16 cents. So if you buy it at the opening, which should have been right around 56.99, you would have got out with your 16 cents relatively quickly. But there's something I wanted to show you that's available on Thicker Swim. Uh, click on Style, come down here to Chart Mode, Standard. I like to look at their seasonality and see what they say. Okay, this is what they have been doing this year so far. Basically, it looks you know, sideways, with a little downward trend, not much. But this is what it does normally on a yearly basis. Okay, it goes sideways with a little uptrend. And here we are, right here in the middle of the, the third quarter. And look at that. This thing's going to shoot up, not shoot up, but you know, trend up towards the end of the year. So, I, would I mind being stuck with Nike? I wouldn't mind at all. However, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking to get in and get out. Now, why 10 days? One of the questions was, why 10 days? All right, so let's go back to the style. Where are we right here? Standard. Okay, well, we're going 10 days. I really can't do it here because the dividend is 10 days from now. But just, you know, for instance, 10 days ago, it was somewhere around here. You, need, you see people start to jump in. When people start jumping in, all right, you have your opening price. If you look look over here in this corner right here, you have the opening price, you have your high, your low, uh, and your volume. Oh, close, sorry. High, low, and close. Okay, so if I'm getting in at the opening, the opening was, keep your eye over here. Okay, today, like I said, the opening was 56.99. The high is 57.46, and we're only in not even a half hour into the into the game so far today. So we've already surpassed it, and I didn't even pull up. Let's for the fun of it, let's go right here, open up this software, and and see what Nike comes in on on this software. This software looks at a different set of parameters. All right, I'm gonna give that a minute or two to to figure out what it's looking at. While it goes through all its calculations, you get the stock, the stock price, the stock symbol, the stock price, the dividend, the yield, the 20 day moving average. This is how much a stock moves on an average on a daily basis. Dividend on steroids, what is that? Buy it 10 days prior to, there we go, 10 days prior to the EX date and get out with a profit 85% of the time. Okay, double dividends, what is that? That's taking the dividend. Multiply it in half, 32 cents. How often does it go up 32 cents from the opening price? Okay, 100% of the time. Dividend capturing, which means holding it through the date of record and then turn around and reselling it for a profit. Now, if these two, before the EX dividend date, have such high numbers, especially this one here, why would I hold it, just collect the 16 cents and then get out? Why not get the 32 cents and get out before the EX date. Okay, do you see where I'm coming from? So these two strategies right here are 10 days prior to the EX date. This strategy right here is any time before the EX date. And when we start looking 10 days, so it could be eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, any time before the EX date, and then get out for the profit. That's what this strategy is. It's kind of like the fallback strategy. You know, hey, if I don't get the 2.5% with the DOS, I'm going to go for the double dividends for, you know, 100%. You know, 2.5%, 85% of the time, okay, great. 2.5% of, of, of 57 bucks is close to a buck. That's great. I'd rather go for the buck than the 16 cents. Okay, the dividend's only 16 cents. Dividend capturing 97% of the time, 16 cents. Okay. I can live with that. That's part of the program, but that's my personal fallback to the program. 
number one, this is my number one choice, dividend on steroids, because it gives me the largest profit for my efforts. Okay, so let me repeat again. These two strategies here, dividends on steroids and double dividends, both look to get in at the opening of the day, 10 days prior to the EX date. This strategy here, it's a great fallback strategy, which is how this whole roller coaster, this whole merry-go-round started, is can I collect the dividend, get out with a profit, and then move on to the next stock? Yeah, 97% of the time. I love 97% of the time. It's an awesome number. Worst case scenario, I get to hold on to Nike. Nike's a great company. They've been around for years. The 10-year chart is great growth. Anyway, to answer the question, why 10 days prior to? Because it gives more time for the stock to make the movement based on other investors coming in to capture that dividend. Okay, Other investors are coming in to capture the dividend, and I want to capture you know, 2.5% uh, here or 32 cents here or, you know, the 16 cents here. Either one of them I am okay with. Ultimately, I would prefer this one. But I can't take this one, I'll take this. Can't take this, I'll settle for that. If I can't get this absolute worst case scenario, I hold on to it and I collect a 1.13% yield, which is still better than the CDs that the banks are offering. Okay, but going back to the software, one more time real quick. This is what the seasonality looks like, and we're looking at one day average every single day. One day in, one day out. Can't go wrong. For me, you need to make up your own mind, your own decisions. This is James from the 10-Minute Trader and Investing for Cash Flow. You guys have a great day.